Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a Medieval City. Can we just stop and look at this view? It looks so cool. This side, not so much. We've got <laughs> land all over the place and holes and floating parts of castles. But this way, a little bit of a mountain. The mountain over there hasn't quite loaded in yet, but there's a little bit of a hill there and it really adds to it when it renders in. It's coming in now. But we've got the trees down the bottom. We've got the arches around the cherry tree. The, um church as it goes up all nicely lit as well little imperfections in the path i'm really really liking all the buildings the same sort of style roofs same color roofs all the way in the background the windmill way back there with a little bit of a hill going up to it with the uh, farms it's really nice today though i want to work on the castle we're gonna go back over here how cool does that look at the moment it's gonna look even cool when it's finished but i have done a little bit of off-camera work and I have put in this wall that was missing. So that's done. And that wall over there that was missing. So now, as you can see, we are completely penned in with castle walls. Ta-da! It's still floating. We still need to fix that. But that's a, that's a not as important thing. Eh, who, who cares about floating stuff? Let's turn those off. And what we've got to do today, what I want to do today, is this section. Okay, maybe maybe even that section. That section we don't need to worry about. In fact, I can take away this pink one. Ah, raining. Weather clear. Snowing. It's raining. Um, this part, I don't quite know what we're going to do. And the same with... Oh, no, that part's done. Okay, we'll probably just do the same thing as what we've done there, over there. In fact, we might be able to just do that now and get it out of the way. Oh, and this roof. I forgot about that part of the roof. Okay, so if we take those away... We take those away, and we make this sort of large walk-in area. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. All the way back there. Like this. Take out all these sort of tricky parts first, and then we should maybe even be able to world edit it in. Just do a bit of by hand work here. And this one. I only just built this part, and I got to destroy it already. Should have should have thought uh thought forward okay might be easy just to fill it all in by hand by the time i click them it would already been done won't it so fill this in here because uh, uh. then underneath us where we are now underneath us is inside the castle technically so we don't need to worry about dressing that up at all until it comes to doing the interior which is going to be quite the job um we first thought when we were building this castle that this was quite small. There we go. So you can sort of walk around the towers there. I like that. Still need to put the floors in the towers as well. But yeah, I thought it was quite small. But when you're actually in there, this is quite a large area, you know. It's quite substantial. So, let's put in some definite blocks. Like, oops, look at that. I'll turn that one around like that. That's going to come down there. That's great, we can just follow the dirt. And that one is going to need to curve. Oh, I shouldn't really need to curve. That's got the inside of the castle. It doesn't matter. That's going to come down there. Yeah, just go on top of the dirt. And then back up there. Okay, any other blocks that we know need to go in? Yes. Well, where's the door going? I want the door. We, we can fill this part. And the door's not going on this side. So this is going to be super easy one to just plop down here. That one. And that one. Okay. Now, we also want to have, I think, a break between this, these two layers and the bottom layers. It's at the sort of castle roof height. So I think what we'll do is we'll do just a one block gap along here like this. It's a long wall. And then stick that one and that one in there just to match up. Okay. Now, the door, I don't think we want the door centred. I think it's too close to this wall. So we want the door just off to the side. Maybe in between this post here and that post there. So that means we can put those ones in as well. So, the door. We don't need it quite as big as this section. By the way, we also need to extend this path out, don't we? So it goes out to there. There's no point having it going up to there and then grass on that side. But anyway, anyway. So, I'm thinking... Two blocks on that side, two blocks on that side. A three block wide door or a five block wide door. You know, five block does sound pretty nice. It's still smaller than that one. 
But you gotta have some sort of grand entrance, don't you? That's too short. Try going up by a block. I think that's about the right size for a door into the castle, don't you? I think that's really about right. And I tell you what would be amazing if it would work is to get this sec this sort of style of window down there. Now, how would we do that? If we're going to copy it the sort of same, we're going to want to have those like that. And then we go back with stone brick. We'll mix in like the other sort of mossy blocks and stuff afterwards like normal. That go oh, come through like that. And then it goes down two blocks. And that's where the window is. And then a third block along the bottom. Oh, look at that. Just by the window. So we have that one. And then these go up in every section that has a stair. And then we get a nice cobblestone line. Going straight over the top of the door. Oh my. Amazing. Okay, and around the side of the door... Is as easy as one, two, three. No. It's do, re, mi, a, b, c. One, two, three. Up there and there. And then that'll close those parts up. We'll mix in some other colours later, don't worry. Uh, or some like maybe some wood or something. I don't know around the door. It's uh that's a, a future don't need to worry about now sort of thing. Okay, this comes down there, and that one. This is the longer one, a larger one. That goes up there and down there. And then this one. Don't quite know yet what I'm going to do in uh, the little middle portion. This little one wide block. Maybe we'll just stick some cobblestone in there or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. Okay. Stair, 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 stair. And then two blocks, and then that one goes in. And then I might have to do a three blocker. Like that. I think that's what we'll do. That one, that one, that one. That one, that one I can't get that one in because of the wall. That one, I can't get that one in because of the wall. We can do that one, that one, and that one. Excellent. Cobble stat slabs. Maybe we'll do that one, uh, and that one, and that one. We want these slabs to go below the windows. Anything else that I'm missing? Just mixing it in with some stone brick and some mossy cobble and stuff. Okay, cool. Glass. Was it white stained glass that we're using? Yes, it is. White stained glass on the castle. The other... Ha um, glass in the city is normal glass isn't it on all the buildings little houses and stuff but i think the castle deserves to have sort of these white ones i think they sort of stand out a little bit more those ones that one that one and that one and nothing goes up the middle there we just just a stair there and there isn't it yeah and then a slab in the middle stone brick on the back and then I think I know what to do <laughs> with this one. We're sort of doing the same thing as that, but without the pillars down the middle. Uh, 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 uh. And then that one goes along here. I'm stuck. I know that's going to go there. That, oops. That's not the one I wanted. Probably be easy if we just sort of do it in like little sections like this. That one. That one. That one. Should be in line. I need to get them in line with those ones there, don't I? So that's like that. Good. And then this one's already in. We just then line these up with those pillars. That one, that one, that one. And that, that's fine. That goes to two blocks. That's like hidden behind the corner, so that's fine. That one, that one, that one, and that one. Glass goes in those. Glass goes in these. We get the stairs 
to go above those parts, isn't it? That one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. That one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. These go on underneath the windows. Ah. I need to drop that down by one. Okay, that's cool. We'll figure out that we'll, we'll meet up that doorway in a minute, but we should be able to to get something. Do they go on there? They do. So that. Oh, because I didn't do them on there. Okay, cool. That's fine. It's no problem. It should really go on. It shouldn't really go on them at all, should it? It doesn't go on those. That's what it is. So are we done with that? That looks so blank there. Oops. We'll sort of do uh, an oscillating. Fill, it just fills that bit up a little bit more. This one's fine. Maybe sort of wrap it down around the side there. Uh, I need to bring this out a little bit. Make this a little bit thicker. Sort of something like this. Put in some like, or maybe cobblestone there instead. There, 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 and there. Just try and make it look a little bit more interesting. Maybe some slabs. I need the um, stone slab version of that one. Yeah, I think, I think that works. It's gone a little bit squarer than I want. That sort of gives me that arch. I think I'm going to stick with that. That gives me the arch that we want. All right, and then we'll do cobblestone, I think, like we said, in this middle portion. I'll just rub the cobblestone all the way around because it's not going to affect the interior because we won't have a floor in this part anyway. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think that's good, right? I don't think I need anything more in there. Oh, that looks so epic. Okay, let's just mix in a little bit of mossy stone brick. In fact, it looks like I did this by hand. I can't quite remember. But it looks like, and it's just on, on like random little points. We'll just go around with stone brick first. It's, it's very, very subtle. Oops. Very, very subtle. Not much of it at all anywhere. So I suppose, you know, it's, it's meant to be the pride of the city. This is what they they really look after. Yeah, just just that is, is more than enough. All right. Amazing. Absolutely. Let's just back off for a moment. And do a bit of a 360 around it. See if there's any parts that we've missed. Oh, yeah, there's that roof around the other side, isn't there, I think. Really epic, isn't it? It's really epic. I like the snow on the top as well. I'm not a fan of the snow in some other spots, but I like the snow just on the roof. As, it, uh, as we snow more on the city, it'll probably get more covered as well. But I really like just that sort of amount, because I suppose, yeah, we need to do that part there. I suppose eventually, because it can only go on every other block can't it? it can only go there 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 and there can't go on these middle ones because these are slabs and snow can't settle on them so if we went for long enough we would end up with these sort of white strips on there as the snow can only settle on those but i like this sort of a little bit of snow on it now the only way unless you guys can think of another way the only way that i can think of that we could prevent it from getting any further is by covering the whole roof where we don't want snow in string so then it's invisible so if we like got some string we take this one for an example we place string on these and then snow can't settle on them the string as soon as we zoom out isn't visible anymore look we can't see it from here but that will only keep snow on that spot and that spot now and we can we don't need to worry about the slab sections obviously because snow is never going to go on there so it's just sort of every other 
level we just put a line of string on because i like i like the density of the snow just as it is at the moment but with the other parts of the roof uh, or the top we should say of the castle like this part and that part i don't want to cover that all in string because we're probably going to be able to walk on there eventually once we get staircases and stuff so i don't know exactly how i'm going to prevent that maybe we just entirely turn off if we can weather i don't know but how are we going to do this part are we just having a flat roof on this part i think so like if we made that section into a door and we went with something like that where the slabs of that type let's be a bit creative here that and that we do that around here as well so we go uh, that one that one that one that one that one stairs go on there so we get sort of a, a, another level of them and there slabs go on those ones and then we go into the inside with oak which fortunately i already have on me so this is the same wall design as we have on these battlement areas so you go slab into a full block of the stair on top but the same things you know slab into a uh, block with uh, a stair on top and fill all this in and then we just need a, a door onto this level in order to access it this is like the king's the king's private walkout area maybe we'd have the the king's bed or queen i don't know who was going to rule this area um in that part of the castle and then he can sort of come out onto his own little battlements in this one no in this in this one I can stay there. I can almost all stay, almost. Stair. Slab. Oh, not that one. Spruce. You know, I'm quite just happy with that. I think that's just carved out a nice door in there. Oh, nope, yeah, 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 no, we're good. Yeah, so we've got this sort of extra middle layer now, middle height. I think that's really cool. The battlements don't line up with the back ones. I've actually done them inverted. We'll change these front ones. Uh, just take these out. Put them there instead. Just so they line up with the back ones. That would just annoy me otherwise. See how they're, they're, now they're in line with the back ones. Alright. That is going to do it though for this episode guys. If you enjoyed it hit that like button. If you don't then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. But check that out now. Awesome. Take it easy guys.